Howdy, folks. Alright, today I just wanted to just, uh, go over some optimizations I was looking at for Slayer. So I have this list of things that I want to do for optimizing learning for Slayer. Just like some bad habits and stuff like that. Alright, let's see. So after, this is actually a weird question, a weird small optimization that I don't even need to worry about yet, but I'm just curious about it. Is, um, so I noticed um, on one of the Mikado matches, a Slayer doing a bunch of different stuff. One of them was uh, doing S Dandy after um, KD for cross-ups. Like, you know, if you're, let's, let's say you're in the corner and you land a 2D and you want them closer to the corner, you do this. But I'm wondering if it's better frame advantage-wise and, um, what is it, Meet I'm stupid, meter gain-wise. Um, to just do forward dash instead. Ah, well that kills your fucking meter gain, so no wonder. Alright, I'll just have to wait for it. How long does it kill your meter gain? I forget. Keeping that in mind seems like a very high level optimization to make. Okay. So yeah, let's just beat him out of the corner. So that kind of gives you a little bit of meter. And that only gives you like a pixel row of meter. That's actually fascinating. Why is that the case? I wonder. Okay, so I seem to have my shit back. Yeah, that gives you more, way more meter. In the case of a knockdown, I wonder why... It, I think it only gives you a pixel. If I'm not mistaken. Something about it, you being knocked down, I think, uh, literally just reduces your meter gain? I can't tell you for sure on that one. Oh, another thing? Um, I got a fucking... Use throw OS. Is that a thing? I think can do that. When is that shit throwing ball? Shamash. Is that not throwing ball in this game? If that is the case, that is slightly disappointing. Wait, 6k has no throne volume in this game. That is fascinating. It's very interesting that it does not have throne volume in this game. I had no idea. That's actually kind of bum. Yeah, it kind of sucks for Kai. Eh, he has JD. He's fine. I, I need to make FD throw OS not kill me. Or do that. So that totally just got me counter hit. Um, 
FD throw OS. No FD option select. Four plus. So that's slash back plink K. Oh, I see. Okay. See, the input shows up the fucking same on the input display because you literally... You can, you can literally watch the button fill in itself. Like, you can see briefly that this uh, this button is not pressed down when you push this button. See, see how it's saying I'm pressing all three buttons at once? Even though you can hear me plinking it? Input display is um, inaccurate in that way. But anyways, so... Okay, so that... So that's like a slash back input plinked into a K input, so that gives you an FD throw us because you can't slash back on pickup because that's good. Interesting. No, die. No, die. No, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Normals can cancel the first few frames of startup into FD. Seems to not be the case. Yeah, you can cancel this far slash into FD, but not this uh, 5H. Yeah, you can hear my fucking 5P come out. This is so fucking funny. Can you cancel it to IK? No, you cannot. It gives you... I wonder. You cannot cancel into IK startup. I love those effects, by the way. I I, I do love me uh, Slayer's IK activate. It's it's a very in character pose. Okay, so I have that. Uh, that throw FD option selects. So that's nice to have. Because as Slayer, I want to do as little blocking as possible. Okay, so let's see what else. Um, okay, so after throw, um, I do not have time to do a midi 6k, I think. I think if I try that, I should get bonked for it. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, Dustly mentions that being an issue because it, it'll say like you don't have time to do a movie throw just to strike a just a uh, strike throw uh, mix up on wake up. Oh wait, I'm stupid. Yeah, I don't have to hold shit. I can. I might be able to fucking 5p out of that shit. Fuck you, stupid.
Yeah, okay, so, yeah, you actually don't get time for that shit. It's fake as fuck. Wait, <laughs> I don't want to do the goofy shit. I want to do the goofy shit. <laughs> that is fucking funny. <laughs> so that's so fake. You can wake up air throw that bullshit. Oh, wow. The shit that people don't deal with, man. It's actually crazy how different my online matches would be if I were playing against like people who knew the matchup. Okay, so another thing I wanted to figure out. Pull up my documents so I can start cataloging this shit. Um, can under pressure be punished on IB? So you can cancel. Um, okay, so first let's just smash that as hard as we can. So that's, I think, as fast as possible to cancel from um, S Dandy. Or fucking under pressure to uh, basically. So I did push a 5 frame button there, so I did die, so that all seems to be in order. Um, let's see, if I I'd be, I can probably just fire the thing out. Cool. What am I doing? That's I'm, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, so that still kills me. That hasn't changed. I think the IB window is what eight frames. Wow, that was cool, but also not what I was looking for. Okay, so that was... It's kind of hard to tell when you IB in this game. I can I can see it, but it's like, it's really hard. You, you flash away. So double tapping. Oh, well, that's still throwing ball in it. Yeah, that's throwing ball in this fuck. Mashing is forbidden. Alright. Well, that's an option. Alright, cool. That answers that. That answers that. Slash back on certain moves. Slash back is kind of just. What is the gap on cancels in Tamapa? That is actually a very good question. We'll, we'll go with P Mappa first. That's, 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 that's easier for me to think about. Alright, so what is the gap on that? That is, that has no gap. I think this should have a gap. Yes, that does have a gap. That does have a gap. So that means you can catch up backers with that. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, another question. This is kind of a silly one, but worth knowing. Maybe. How do I 
Can I not cancel this fucking move? You can't actually cancel fucking 2P. You can't cancel 2P for shit. That's actually... Why? You know, that's... Fine, whatever. <laughs> fucking, yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> that's, that's weird, though. That's very strange. That 2P has no cancel. Eh, there's probably a good reason for it. Cancel it into CR. What is that? Oh, it's a chain. You can fucking chain chan chain cane cancel. Yes, that's that's what I meant. No, you can chain cancel it. Okay, so you can mash like 2p 5p or 2p 2p. That's a self cancel. I'm bad at mashing. Everyone, please laugh at me. His, his his jab is kind of it is kind of stubby. There's a gap on that. It's at least four frames, or at most four frames, rather I think. Since Sawyer's jump uh, startup is four frames and it doesn't catch him airborne. So it is at most a four frame gap. Likely, you know, not a gap that anyone can fucks with. I mean, it's a jab string. Obviously, you can't really fucks with it. Interestingly, I think that causes more crouching. I think crouching block stun. That's it. That's funny. Okay. So, if you crouch block, and then you hold up, um, the, you will be kept in block stun long enough because crouch stun, or crouching block stun adds an additional frame of block stun, such that you will not be caught up backing because there is no gap to catch. However, you stand block this and then hold up. Um, I think that should hurt you. Well, maybe it's, no, maybe it's just because I'm i beating it. Yeah, that is because I beat it. Stop that. Yeah, it's, it, it is literally because I, I beat it. Fuck. Alright, well that's... You know what, that's fair. I, I think I prefer things that way. I am a filthy upbacker after all. I, my, my blocks are too good. <laughs> So that's actually a lie. Um, I'm stupid. Please ignore me. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. So the cap on cancels into Mappa. That's what I wanted to know about originally. So you can't cancel 2P. That's interesting knowledge to know. Okay, other stuff. That probably also has no gap. I don't know why it would. I imagine this has a gap that can also catch up barriers. The higher level moves, so I imagine it's only more of the same. I'm getting this because uh, 5k is such a staple move. 5k is probably a low level move, isn't it? 5k is a level 2 move, so yeah. Even level 2 block stun keeps people at um. Hmm, interesting now. I'm trying to get caught counter hit. Get counter hit there. <laughs> so it's 
still catches me up back then. Okay, so that's actually a really hard mass, so if you're mashing between the hits of close slash and fucking... Well, actually... First off, I should probably see if this is a thing. I have no doubt this is a thing, but I just want to see it with my own eyeballs. Yeah, that beats it even on startup. Okay, so... First off, I want to see this work. Second off, what? Really? Maybe I'm starting it too early. That doesn't look right. Mm. Oh, it's the hitbox. It's deceptive. Yeah, it comes out after he lunges into it, stupid. Okay. So that's actually kind of interesting. So this doesn't have so this doesn't have the upper body invuln to beat it immediately. 6P has upper body invuln from one to six frames, and then after that, the moment it becomes active? No. No, it's upper body invuln frames one to six, and then it's above knees invincible frames seven to twenty fucking three, and it has an eighteen frame startup. Okay, so that's that's a thing. Um, all right. So that might explain why maybe six P isn't always the best anti air. It's a great anti air in some scenarios, but in others it's like it falls flat, which is why you have your other buttons. It is a revelation I have yet to quite properly make. Or rather, internalize. Okay, let's see. What else? The gap on cancels the map. Uh, it's like, I mean, is there really much else to tell? Is, does this have a gap? If it does, then okay, every move has a gap when it cancels the game map. Uh, that does not have a gap. And no more. As a formality. I'm stupid. Stupid. So that does have a gap. That's a level 3 move. Cancel the K mappa. Okay, so I think any other move I actually take issue to this with is like, I'll study it. I've, I've yet to actually see someone who up back so often that using that to catch people is really a good idea, but in any event. Let's see. Okay. You can actually cancel this to 2H and to 2K and 2D. Oh, it's a fine you can cancel. That's stupid. Oh, you can cancel the fucking 2K or 2D on this at frame 32 in recovery. Whereas if you let the full recovery rock, it's a whole 34 frames instead. Yeah, that seems fucking useful. 
Okay, if I, if I am ever using 5B, I'm probably just feeling myself anyways. That seems... funny to hit people with, though. It's got how many active frames? Fucking... Three? Yeah, it can, that can only be minus six at best, meaty. It's like, who the fuck cares about 5D? Well, what am I saying? The Great American Unblockable is never to be underestimated. This is very fun. I'd like to say that this is very entertaining. <laughs> okay. Alright, so cancels into Mappa. Fucking. So if that, if what I left with this in the K map I was like larger than a four frame gap, I think my if I had actually mashed two P in a tight timing there, there's mm, I can't say that for sure. I'd actually have to do the math on that one, and I'm like not I'm, I'm not mentally awake enough to actually figure out the math for that right now, and I have other questions that are far better suited to needing an answer right now. Is it crouching? Oh, that's actually a fucked up air button. <laughs> I can't TK this for shenanigans, can I? Can I do a fuzzy guard? That sounds so stupid. I don't believe that this is a thing, and it shouldn't be. Maybe. Let's try it. That's not what I want. So first off, can this be used? This can be used for fuzzies. Oh, that's fucked up. Responsibilities be damned. I need to figure this out. There is, there is a gap on that. I wonder. Can I get the free frame the three frame start up there? Okay, so the back leg on this is a three frame start up. If I can see it here. It's actually kind of hard to land that hitbox, I think, so it's probably not what's bothering me there. But maybe you could use it for some really hilariously scummy cross-up like this. Eh, maybe not. Okay, in any event. You probably need to hit that on the last fucking frame if it's even possible. I do not have the magic hands right now. <laughs> That's interesting. 
If if I hold up there, it catches me. Hmm, no, it has a gap, so I can't use it for f shakies. That's impossible. The only way you could do that would be like fucking. Can you gatling those? Nah, you can't. There, there, there's no use. <laughs> it's just not worth it. Even if this is possible, I think you can maybe only do like... An unrelated note. What are his air gatlings again? I think... JK can only do those things. So he doesn't have, like, any IAD strings that he can use. That is a block string. That is a block string from the air. <laughs> Does this even hit twice? That's that's so funny. Yeah, this is not a thing. <laughs> so you can jump cancel JS. Maybe only the first hit. Can you only jump cancel the first hit of JS, or is it some other hit? You can jump cancel from 13 frames onwards. You can do simple mix-ups like this too. Like that that is a thing that can probably work on people who are scared of other things. It it, it seems kind of dumb, but like, when you can land shit like this, I don't know. Sometimes a risk versus reward seems pretty worth it. Also on counter hits I need to start using um fucking on counter hit mappers I need to start using 2k to confirm. Since I can actually lead into knockdown instead of doing 2p into nothing. Yeah, like that. I do not know combos yet, so this is me just doing anything into fucking knockdown because I don't know what else to do. This is literally the laziest route I've ever seen a Slayer do. Do shit. Yeah. It's a mix-up. So cool, by the way. Counter hit throws, yeah. Yeah, literally, the, this is probably the best combo starter in the world. Yeah, that's a fucking combo. I wonder what this fucking stupid move leads to. Dumb damage? Sick. Oh, I want to do something funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Hmm, 
I am doing super jump deck. That is not a super jump. has to build momentum. Or Dash, I think, gains momentum a bit earlier. In fact, Dash does not gain momentum until, um... Hmm. That's also interesting. So... Based on the fact that momentum is an issue here, notice that I only got a negative penalty after backdashing like this. Or, well, the strat was a negative penalty. Yeah, they got it. But... I repeatedly backdash cancel. The backdash cancel itself, or rather, the triggering of a backdash has nothing to do with its um, reduction of your tension pulse. It's actually, I think, the distance travel by a DAC. A DAC bash. Yes, that's what I meant. That's. It seems intuitive, because I think if I do this. of unnecessary, but it's it's interesting to note. Um, never mind what I was just about to do. I think I'm wrong on that. I'm not, not going to bother with it, but the backdash cancels don't actually cause negative penalty. The, uh, holding the backdash, or rather... Let's try this. I'm trying to get negative penalty doing these back dashes. Oh, that was a stupid decision to make to not let the full back dash rip. Oh, I'm not losing mate. Okay. For some reason, I eventually got negative penalty there, but that was really weird in how it gave it to me. Um, that's totally useless, and I doubt that anyone really triggers negative penalty much as Slayer unless they're playing campy against a bridge or something because they hate them like I might hypothetically eat them one day, but in the meantime. wonder how, how fast, how far can you walk forward having buffered something? Other words, how long does a special input but You know, I'm not gonna bother with that fucking knowledge. That's also not useful. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I need to start doing fucking uh, perfect BDCs. I need this to be perfectly made. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so this will catch me doing any bullshit. It sucks. Shit, anyways. I'm bad. Oh, my back dash just suck right now. Bad back dash. Buffering it too late. Interesting. I think that was perfect. Oh, sure. 
Hey, I think that works. Let's try this. Huh. Alright, I do you have the OS down. Uh, sort of, anyways. So bad. Nice. Ah, sip. Okay, so I think I just need to work on these some more. It's it's eyeballing that wake up timing, man. That shit's hard. I'm trying to use like a visual cue for it, but it doesn't seem to be working. My hands are slow. God damn, my back dash is suck right now. It's a good thing I'm not playing online. I embarrass myself. Trying to back dash out of shit. How do I time wake up back there? <sighs> Fuck, I'm so bad. I'm leaving this for later. This is not something I can practice and remain sane. That is kind of just frustrating to practice, I feel. Oh, I still gotta figure out those uh, perfect bites. Well, more importantly, I have to figure out Wake Up Backdash. That is the foundation of this character, after all. Whew. Or at least just Backdash, period. Like, it's not just Wake Up Backdash, it is the Wake Up Backdash into stuff. Interesting. If I do this, I push slash back, and then I uh, special, I think. Is it? Is that the case? I have no idea what's going on. I think it's because I was planking it. Hmm. This is also useless knowledge. Really, I, I should be practicing my fucking uh, combos. Two D has a different recovery timing than uh. 5k, okay, so 2k, so 2k, 2k has 5 frames of recovery, whereas 5k has 8, that's weird, er, that's 2p, I'm stupid, 2k has 11 frames of recovery, and 5k has 8, 
A free that free frame different. They different. I was gonna say free frame, but then I just descended into madness. So it's the briefest of delays. I'm like frames off there, I can feel it. You know, I was thinking to myself, this move might be uh, good for, or this move might be going over, could go over Slayer 5H, but like, Slayer 5H anti airs. <laughs> it's actually really dumb, that move. It's hitbox. Look at that fucking shit. You gotta worry about that shit. I'm, I'm forgetting to air FD it, man. That's crazy. It'll hit you while you don't fucking air FD. That's zany, dude. That's actually fucking zany. The only thing stopping from being fucking stupid is because there's only got five active frames. You're like, holy damn, that's crazy. That shit anti airs. Look at that bonkers bullshit. Bonk. Go back to fucking jail, bro. Horny jail, that is. That's the, that's the bonk. Fuck. Okay, so that's actually pretty ridiculous. It's good to know. Yeah, no, that's not fucking working. Not a snowball's chance in hell. Um, however, I think. Okay, my herb. Well. It's well, it's eight F onwards, so it's like that's that that, that would be a read. Like, why bother? Eh, it could be cool. This actually seems pretty great as a poke. Six K is plus five on hit, so that means I get pretty much two options to follow up, which are after six K uh, plus five at minimum timing. Although usually it hits on crouching opponents. If you're plus five, you get what is it? A fucking five P, two P, and five K? No, five K is six frames. I mean, yeah, it's six frames shorter, so you only get two frames. How many frames of startup P map? Uh, 11? Darn, I like that move, the poke. <clears throat> okay. So this, is a, this actually has functional use as a poke, and I do wonder, real quick. Uh, I'll just try and test with this. I think Slayer's leg is actually better at crushing Slayer's leg than anything else. Let's try some Kai shit instead. Okay, so that can be used to avoid. What is this? Can I get any of these things? So it's eight frame startup for the invuln, so that seems minimally useful in um, some scenarios, but or in you know like a bar a scenarios, but you can do funny stuff like this. You would want to do 2P after this, or like bite, so that you can catch your opponent slipping. 
rather than just, you know, hit him with a mid, because mids are not rewarding, at least in this scenario. Yeah, so, so you would just be in a scr- You know what, let's try this. You can't jump cancel 2k, right? Just need to make sure that it's a thing so that I can use it accurately to test what the frame advantage is there. Kyle Kisuke. <gasps> so Kyle 2k has six frames of recovery? Yeah, so he actually fucking recovers before me in that case. Hmm. See, this bullshit, 6k, uh, is low and vuln for... Um, what is that? 24 minutes 8, that's 16 uh, frames of low and vuln. So you want to do that shit late if you're going to use it as a fucking big leg read. It's like... Yeah, it doesn't seem excessively useful. I mean, don't get me wrong, it can be used for some swag, I imagine. Like, you know, this shit, but... It's like... It's really not that fast in terms of recovery, unless you... It's not that fast in terms of recovery, so you'd have to abuse it earlier, and the earlier you have to use a move to read with it, it's like... The more you have to think, it's like, could I just, instead of using that move, forego using it and just wait something out and then use a quicker option that is still roughly as effective. In other words, you know, trying to minimize what you leave up to, um, essentially maximizing what you can react to and minimizing, uh, putting yourself in a scenario where you have to push a hard-ass read button. Like, you don't want to have to read your opponent with a Ouija board. That's fucking, that's not effective. That's not, uh, that is not a sustainable strategy unless you can read your opponent with a Ouija board, in which case you could probably beat him just as hard if you were also playing optimally, but, you know, never mind that. That's a semantic argument that other players are better suited for making than I. Okay, let's see. What else could I possibly study instead of sleeping? Eh... Could try making 6k reversal safe. Eh, well, I've done that. It's actually much later than I think it is. But now, look at another list. So, yeah, after, um, knockdowns with, what is it, throw, rather than 6k, I need to do fucking 2p. If I do 6k, like, I can literally get fucking air thrown. It's hilarious. The fucking guy could literally wake up air throw me, it's hilarious. Oh, I'm stupid. Why do I keep... Am I bad at video games? Yes, I am. Okay. Wait, let, me, let me do something about that. I think that is the earliest possible 6k that I get. Stop. So that is definitely still not a good idea, and I don't know why I'm still fucking around with it. I just want to internalize that it. it's bad, but never mind that, even though it's really funny. Okay. Let's see. That's range, I'm not sure if I do get a follow up there. I think if it hits its uh, I think with crouching hit stun it's like that looks like a single active frame or so of difference. Yeah, that, that does look like a single active frame or so of difference. That right there. So in that case, I think them being crouching, um, or being hit meaty, which I believe six K will occur in most cases um, under those circumstances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then in that case, it's like, you still get to hit him with it. 
still get the combo into the 5k. That, is. that being said, at this rank, it's like, eh, well, it still seems to be an issue. I think it's just compounded by the fact that Slayer's a little wider when he's crouching. So maybe it's just kind of like the same problem, and it's just even further away? I'm actually not sure how and why that works. But in any event, mm, well, that's not a fucking combo, obviously. That yeah, seems to work. Unless it hits him at literal max range. So what are my conversion options here? Well, that's an option. Okay, so yeah, that's actually kind of a clutch conversion tool if you're a god, and you can buffer that, like, given the circumstances. So a round start distance, actually. Huh. So that's clutch conversion, but if you don't have the clutch conversion available, imagine K-Mappa is like... It's like, this is if you're a bitch, and this is if you're um, going balls to the wall. Because, you know, convert having your only conversion op option be Mappa makes you seriously consider just doing some fucking resets instead. Because you don't have to be at a fucking frame distance, like, minus three in their face. It's like, I use K Mappa so much and get away with it. Like, it's actually zany how much bullshit I get away with because I play Slayer. Because someone who knows the matchup can really turn this matchup on its head. Like, everything I see, everything you see on my channel is just completely, like, not how the game is supposed to be played at all. It's fucking crazy. Because, like, in any situation I do MAPPA stuff, it's like, they can just push after, man. It's... it's why am I doing this? Game plus there. Speaking of being plus, that sounds like something I was interested in. Making MAPPA plus. Okay, so, I'm gonna do this. So we got MAPPA Hunch. We got P MAPPA Hunch. P MAPPA Hunch has three active frames and is minus one. Um, so first... Just show that on hit, this should be like 100% equal frame advantage. Yeah, this is that's a that's symmetrical frame advantage. We are literally neutral. Look at us go twirling in the wind. Wee! There's boys going at it, just having a good old time, fucking launching off the ground like a bunch of retards. Anyways, so, that leaves them at zero. Um, but the question is, how do I make you plus? So at a further range, we carry the hoops. Um, that, that's a really funny animation there. It's like a little fucking... He's, he's carrying like a fucking basket of flowers to Sharon. What a nice guy. Anyways, so, actually making it plus is really... I really wish I could see the hitboxes here. Cause that's that's really hard to like visually see. Well, I'm not really see any other things, but <laughs> I, I I love the little fucking thonk he does when he's in the air. That, that was a very funny frame. Um, but anyways, so Making it plus seems like a really particular spacing. It's not impossible to say the least, but you know. It still seems to be a or big number in Guilty Gear. Yeah, so he's plus there. He's plus there. Still plus. Still plus, I think. Wow. It's 
it's a really specific spacing. Is that actually the range? I, no, he still seems to be a smidge. Actually, no, I am higher than him. I think that was the magic range. Of which K Mappa is fucking plus. It's actually hilarious how far. You know, I think that is still fucking neutral. So, so K Mappa has six active frames and is minus three. Fucking god. Yeah, that looks that that looks plus. That it does move a little further forward um, for a bit longer. So I think I got that there. I might have, can't tell. Uh it seems neutral. I think I'm plus there. Yeah I am. But that's a really far range. At which yeah, he's still plus. I'm plus there. Okay, so that's actually a very far range, but, like, you can be plus off of K-Mapper, which is really crazy. But if you're at that particular range and you know it, and you can take advantage of that situation, you are a god. Like, that's, that's really hard to confirm. And in addition to that fact, at this particular range, let's say, on the ground, like, you know, I think I am plus here. But like, the problem is that you're hitting it on the later active frames. You're um, you're this far away from your opponent, which being plus at this range is like not very helpful. It's it's not bad, but it's like, you know, what are you gonna do, fucking? Well, yeah. most far slashes and such are like, what is it, roughly 10 frame startup around that? It's like, you don't have pokes that reach that far. You could use this as a poke. That'll probably catch people doing shit on startup, but generally speaking, I would say the, 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 the using plus frames on K-Map would seem like... It seems kind of counterproductive. You're probably better off fishing for counter hits with it than actually trying to be plus on hit there. And again, mind you, if they block it, you're also one frame um, at less of an advantage. Because um, the, the rule is, however plus something is on hit, um, it is minus one frame on block and vice versa. Whatever it is on block, it is one more frame plus on hit. Which isn't very useful in the context of Guilty Gear in most cases, because pretty much everything revolves around Gatlings and Cancels. Gatlings, that is, Cancels into Normals, or Normals canceling into Normals, and Cancels being um, Normals into Specials. In the case of Slayer, um, he has, you know, fucking... He has unique hit stun in the sense that he'll have, like a level 2 move that is plus 7 on hit that is specifically designated in Dust Loop. This is actually one of the only scenarios in gear where it's like you're, you really have to focus on like how plus you are on hit in such a way that you can't combo. That's like, you're, you're not at frame advantage, but you aren't punishable, even on hit, which is, you know, kind of... That is the nature of Slayer. That is the reason the character is balanced, because if, Ma if, if Mappa were plus, this game would be so fucking stupid. Okay, is, is there anything else I really want to do? Because that was kind of a... Yeah, not useless, but it wasn't a very... I at least discovered that my hunch was wrong. It is that K-Mappa would be useful in terms of plus frames. Okay. No. So or does not allow for me to 6k is all. Confirm after count hit map with 2k. Yeah, that's that's about all I got for now. That's side dish. Probably go fucking sleep anyways. Later. Oh, no.